Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> I wanted to talk today about Power Hour and what it is and why it's important if you're a working coach who really wants to focus on this business and grow your business, um, why Power Hour is so important for you. So um, Power Hour is just that, okay? It is about an hour's worth of time where you are doing business building activities um, in order to grow your business. Um, if you don't have a power hour, if you've never heard of a power hour, it's likely that um, you're either a discount coach or a hobby coach, and that's okay. Um, you can always move up into a working coach, um, but if you're not showing up for your business for about an hour every day, um, then your business is likely not going to grow um, the way that you're wanting it to. So. There's a couple of different ways that you can do your power hour. Um, it can be a legitimate hour where you sit down without distraction um, and work your business for an hour until you get everything on your to-do list done. Um, I've done that on occasion. Um, you can also work it in power pockets, which means maybe you do a little bit here in the morning before you go to work, and you do a little bit in the um, afternoon, maybe during your lunch break, and then you do a little bit more in the evening when you have more time after the kids have gone to bed or whatever it is. Um, you have to do what works for you. Some people um, don't necessarily go to an outside of the home job, so if you're a say a stay-at-home mom, um, those pockets may be during nap times. Um, if you're a working individual, um, maybe you're going to have to get up 30 minutes earlier in the morning so you can work a little bit of your power hour in the morning and then finish at night. Um, when I'm teaching, I try to get up a little bit early so that I can post in all my challenge groups um, early in the morning and then do a little bit more of my power hour, add some friends, do a little bit of that, and then I work my business just when I can throughout the day, um, whether that be during my lunch break or um, you know after school or right after I finish my workout or you know um, if my daughter has like t-ball practice you know I'm there but I'm working my business on my phone um, so whenever it is that you can when you can fit it in is when you need to fit it in um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about what power hour is and what it involves okay um, so I'm gonna share my screen really quick let's see um, move this out of the way. So as coaches, we always want to work on our four vital behaviors, okay? Um, there used to be three. When I first signed on as a coach, there were only three vital behaviors, and now there are four. Um, and so the four vital behaviors are, one, to invite, right? We want to be inviting all the time, every day. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. Number two is to be proof of the product. So that includes drinking your Shakeology and doing your workout and sharing it, right? I mean, you can do both of those things and not tell anybody and that's not helping anyone, right? Um, I heard a quote at Summit this weekend that was like a shared story or an unshared story helps no one. Um, and so, you know, that's what we do as coaches. We share. So when I drink my Shakeology, I share about it. Um, when I do my workout, I share about it. Um, and it's both accountability for me and sharing my journey. It, it is what I do. I drink Shakeology and I work out, okay? Um, number three is doing personal development. So I spend, um, I try to spend about 10 to 15 minutes every single day on personal development. Um, I do the Darren dailies in the morning. I get that text right to my phone. So I listen to that while I'm like brushing my teeth and doing my hair and you know, whatever, or on my way to work. And then I also listen to books um, on Audible. I don't have time to sit down and read a book. So I make it work with, with the time that I have. And then number four is to recognize. This is the new one. Um, so we want to celebrate and reinforce every meaningful achievement and activity that leads to results. And whether that be your clients, your challengers, your coaches, recognizing someone. Um, I personally love to recognize people. I want to show everyone that your hard work um, and dedication, you know, means something. And I like to be recognized. I think everybody likes to be recognized. Um, and so I'm super glad that that's a, a vital behavior. 
So, um, okay, I'm going to stop sharing for a second so I can show you guys. So for my power hour, um, when I first became a coach, I really, um, had to like write down all the things that I needed to get done every single day and do like a checklist. Now, um, that I've been a coach for about a year, my power hour is, comes pretty naturally to me. Um, and if I forget something in the morning, usually by the midday, I'm like, oh shoot, I forgot to, you know, do that or whatever. And I'll just hop right on and do it. So if you're a new coach, don't be afraid to write things down and make lists. Like if you're not working from lists, then your life is probably a big hot mess. And so, um, I mean, I make lists for everything, like all the lists, all the, they're everywhere. Um, not to mention I have planners that have lists in them and you know, whatever. So work off of a list. Um, but I use this app that I wanted to be able to show you guys. Um, it's called 3030. Actually, let me try to just show you what the app part looks like. Let's see if we can get it to show. <laughs> Let's see. Well, sort of. So it's this one right here. It's called 3030. Um, it looks like a little pause sign, basically. Um, and in there, I created a list of, there we go, my power hour stuff. Oh, stop it. It's going to go to my finger and not... Um, the screen. So, okay, here we go. So I literally just have a list of all of the things that I need to do for my power hour and it's pretty long. Okay. Um, but should not feel daunting. Okay. And so I'm going to go through them right now. Um, and talk a little bit about what they all are. Right. And so like we already talked about the four vital behaviors, invite, 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 be a product of the product, do your personal development and recognize. Okay. And so the first thing on, um, this list for me is to post to my challenge groups. I always try to do that in the morning. I have people in my challenge groups from all over the world. Right. And so when it's, you know, like 8am my time, it could be 6am. Nope. It could be 10am somebody else's time. And so they're like, my day's half over. Like, where's my coach? Right. Um, and where's my post? And you know, some people don't post in the child groups until the end of the day, but that's not my jam. I like to have them done in the morning. So in non-negotiable for me is posting my challenge groups before I even leave for work. It just is what it is. My kids may be screaming. We may be late. I don't even care. I'm posting in my challenge groups. Um, so that's one of, you know, my daily power hour items. Um, the next one is to add friends. That's a part, one of the daily vitals. Invite, invite, invite. I consider that a part of the daily vital. I can't invite people to challenge groups and into the business opportunity if I don't, if I'm not friends with them. So I consider my friend request a part of my invite, invite, invite. Um, next on my list is to send lead emails. So once you become an Emerald coach, you get leads from Beachbody. If somebody signs up for a Team Beachbody account, they automatically get a coach, and that's where you get your leads from. So I get, I go in my back office and I look for my leads. Um, I shoot them an email that's just an introduction email, and it's something that I already have created. It takes all of three seconds to do, um, and it just introduces myself and you know lets them know who I am, how to find me on social media. So Facebook, my like page and my Instagram, um, and you know, that I'm here and would like to help them. Most of the time I don't hear back from my leads. Sometimes I do. Um, but I'll never hear back from them if I don't contact them. So that's a part of my power hour. And again, I consider that a part of my inviting. Technically they're already a client, but a lot of those people just sign up for a free team beach body account. And while there's a ton of resources and that's great, um, you and I both know that a challenge pack with Shakeology and a program is what they need. Um, next on my list for my power hour is to check in with my clients. Um, I try to check in with at least two or three clients per day, um, whether they are in actively in a challenge group or not. And so I just have a list of clients. Um, I use streak. So I just go through there, find them, shoot them a message. Hey, how's it going? Um, I like to check in with my active challengers more frequently than my inactive challengers because they're in the grind, like right now. Can I help you, dear? Mommy, every time I keep bending, this girl, it comes off. Yeah, she's not very good. She has always done that. Okay. Once you get her bent, you just stick her back in there. Okay. Um, sorry. So... 
Um, I like to check in with my active challengers more than my inactive challengers. And while I'd like to get my inactive challengers back active, um, I really like to focus a lot, the majority of my attention on my people who are dialed in, dialed in and focused. Um, I don't want to lose them, basically. Um, next part is to send five messages. So again, we're going back to that invite, invite, invite. My messages could have absolutely nothing to do with Beachbody. I'm just starting conversations. I'm building relationships. Um, or it could be a part of that invite process. So it just sort of depends on, on where I am in the month. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about the invite process in a second. Um, I like to check in with my coaches, make sure, you know, they're good, especially on like Tuesday, Wednesday, when we're leading into the end of the week, make sure they're not going to lose rank, um, and that they still have time to fix it if they are. Um, Shakeology and working out is a part of my power hour. It's a daily vital. Um, so I drink Shakeology in the morning, every morning. And so it is, I make it and I either take a picture of, um, what I'm using and I'll use, I'll make like a recipe. I take a video of me making my shake or I take a selfie of me and my shake and talk about it, something about it. Um, sometimes it's just legitimately a selfie and like, hey, have a good Wednesday. Um, I want people to know that I'm drinking it. It's not a secret. Um, and so I share it almost every day. Um, and it's a part of my power hour because if I'm not sharing that, then people don't know that, that that's what I do. Okay. Um, for my workouts, I either share, I take a video of me working out. I post something a little pre workout -y. you know, sometimes I don't want to work out. And so I post about that. Um, I'll post a sweaty selfie. Um, I'll post like a flexing picture, something to let people know that I'm working out. What program am I doing? Why do I like it, right? Or why do I hate it <laughs> or whatever? Uh, what is it doing for me? What is it doing to my body? All of those things. Um, then I have some posts things, right? So I need to um, do my three Facebook posts a day um, and I need to do my like page post. I'm trying to focus more on my like page and my Instagram. Um, so those have become a part of my power hour. Uh, it's not hard for me to post three times a day on Facebook. I'm, that's just not a problem for me. Um, if it is a problem for you, then you need to make a list and you need to check that shit off. Okay. Um, my like page post, I try to think about it ahead of time uh, so that it adds value, um, it gets more traffic. Uh, I struggle with that. That's a struggle for me. So um, I've been trying to be better. Uh, Instagram is also not generally a hard one for me, uh, but I do need to make sure it gets done, right? And so I feel good about being able to check it off every day. Um... And that's everything on my, oh, personal development. We already talked about that. So that's everything on my power hour list. Now I can legitimately sit down and crank all of that out for the most part in less than 30 minutes. Um, but that's because I've been doing this for a while. When I first became a coach, I was all over the place. I got easily distracted by the Facebook scroll and it was harder for me to do that. Now I can totally crank that out in no time. Um, so power hour really is about getting those daily vitals done. They're called daily vitals because they need to be done every single day. Okay. Um, and so again, just as a reminder, the four daily vitals are one to invite. Again, I consider my Facebook friend requests that very first invitation. I am inviting you into my world. Um, from there, I'll be sending messages, right? And I'm inviting you to basically be my friend. I'm inviting you to know more about me. I'm inviting me um, into your life, okay? From there, um, I'll feel more comfortable inviting you to a free group. From there, I'll feel more comfortable talking to you about a paid challenge group. From there, I'll be more comfortable and you'll be more comfortable with me inviting you to the business opportunity that is Beachbody. That's how I see that invite step. I ask you to be my friend, I get to know you, I invite you to a free group, I invite you to a paid group, I invite you to the business. And I can't do any of that until we become friends, right? Um, being a product of the product, but daily vital number two, drinking your Shakeology and sharing it. Doing your workout and sharing it. Progress pictures, share them, right? They don't even have to be yours. They can be clients' product, um, 
progress picture. Sorry, that's hard. Um, if you have their permission. It can be other challengers who you've, you know, seen post their own stuff. Like if you have a client who posts their own progress pictures, it's out on social media. Just share that um, and encourage your giant challengers to do that. Um, it can be uh, progress pictures from other coaches that you can ask, hey, can I, sh you know, your challenger had amazing results. Can I share those? Everybody always says yes. We're all in this together. But ask. Um, some sort of progress pictures. It can also be not even necessarily like you don't have to weigh in every single day. Please don't weigh in every single day. It's a terrible idea. Um, but it could be a flashback Friday. It can be a transformation Tuesday. Um, it can be just a this is what I used to look like in like July of 2011. And this was me four days ago. Like go me right? Um, any of those things. Being a product of the product. Show people that this is working. Number three, personal development. Don't skip this. Whether it's um, like motivational stuff or something about the business, learning things about the business, whatever it is that you need, find the personal development for it and do it. Set a time to do it. Even if it's just 10 minutes a day. You have 10 minutes a day, okay? Um, and you can listen to it with your husband or your wife or your kids. Harley knows exactly who Darren Daly is because I listen to him on my phone all the time, right? My house knows who Gary Vee is. He's the guy that swears a lot. Like, I listen to him all the time. And it's good information, right? Um, I also like to listen to it with my husband because it's helpful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's helpful. It's not just beach body business specific, you know, it's like life specific. It's, it's good stuff. Um, and then lastly is to recognize. So recognize your clients, your coaches. Um, you know, if like, if your mom comes over and has like a delicious 21 day fix meal with you and loves it, recognize that, right? Like we do good stuff. Okay. Um, so that's my little pitch about power hour, why it's important. If you're not doing power hour and you're just sort of like floating through this business, one, you're going to feel overwhelmed. Okay. And two, you're not going to touch on everything that you need to be touching on. And you're going to feel frustrated. Like why is so-and-so being so successful? And I'm not because you're not doing the daily vitals. You're not showing up for your business. And that's okay if you want to be a hobby coach. If you want to sort of fly by the seat of your pants and like, I'll hit success club when I hit it and maybe I'll make some money this week, then that's totally fine. But if you want to hit success club consistently, you need to show up for your business and do the right things every single day. If you want to waste your time and do fluff stuff and not see the results, then that's totally your choice, okay? Um, if you guys have questions about Power Hour, um, anything specific at all, please feel free to reach out to me or your upline coach, um, and we'll definitely help you out. Comment down below. Comment down below. Okay, I'll see you guys. Bye.